immediately return the interception? You know, did, did you sense that there was a play that needed to be made right there? I mean, uh, we just stressed it all week, get after the ball. They had that one uh, that one long hit um, early in that half, and they got the three points. And I was just telling the guys, we have to come out and make a play. So, I mean, working the ball, got it out, and then next series, they, they were throwing three step all day, so I just jumped it, and the ball was there. Yeah. Um, you, know, you figure if you allow 600 yards and they ran 100 plays, you're probably not winning that game. I mean, what, what, what kind of happened there? But, I mean, you guys are still able to uh, win. I mean, we knew what we were getting into uh, this week. Uh, it's a high-powered offense. We just had to, uh, I mean, make make our plays and kind of kind of weather the storm and really, I mean, make stops when, when they come. So, I mean. Let me tell me about the block punts. I mean, that was you know, a, a big play, too, because they were starting to creep back into it. Yeah. And I imagine you guys were thinking back to the season opener a little bit, right? Um, yeah, I mean, Coach Barton drove a block this week. Um, we ran all week during practice. Uh, we ran a couple times during the game, but I couldn't really get the snap down at the count, and I timed it up perfect, and the rest is history, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you speak about those big plays. I mean, they, they outgained you. You know, they ran more plays, you know, but it seemed like you guys struck one when it mattered. Yeah, I mean, as a defense, we really came together tonight. We, we played our brand of football. That's what we've been trying to get to the whole season, and it felt great. Uh, Jack, how much, you know, you already played in the rain already, so that, that, I suppose that dribble didn't phase you at all. Uh, did it? Oh, no, I don't, I don't feel that it that phased me at all. Uh, tons of the times I threw some bad balls, and I felt it just slipping more than that. It didn't phase me at all. Hey, you're still able to hit on some pretty big plays. I mean, did you sense that they were taking away shorter routes and the, the home run balls? They don't seem like right away and right away and take away the run right away, so you open up play action and took some shots deep. And they're, they're open. Yeah. You know, it, they, were, they kind of took away the run for most of the game. Did you feel a lot of pressure maybe to move the ball a little bit then? Uh, no, I, I guess we do feel pressure to move the ball. Because that keeps our defense off the field. We try, try to score as many points as we can to win the game. Yeah. Uh, you know, your second 300-yard game of the season, and uh, I think we ask you this every week, but I mean, are you impressed with, with what, what, what you are able to do? Um, I'm, just, I'm just going out there and playing football. I know I'm just doing my job with what takes a win. You also spread the ball on you know several receivers. I think every start you throw it to seven different guys. Is that is that by by design or is that just you have a lot of guys that can play or is it? Well, we have we have plenty of guys that can play. I mean, I guess they spread it on seven guys. I mean, I'll, I'll throw it to the guy that's open every time. Yeah. Uh, you know, for all the guys, you know, what does a win like this do for you? You know, you're in control. They came back, and like I said earlier, you know. Thoughts to the opening night that kind of crept in your mind. What, what, what does this kind of give you? I mean, uh, this just launched us in, into the South. I mean, started division play. We really wanted to let people know that I mean, we're we're taking over the South. We want we want to we want to run the table. So I mean, this is a this is a big win, and especially coming out of, off the of last year. A lot of those guys thought last year was was a fluke at their place. So we we wanted to come out, and make a statement in the South, and let them know we're about it. So big win. No, uh, I mean, I think it showed. I think it showed how our team handles adversity. You know, we came out of the half. We were up big. We've been in that situation before, and they started creeping back in. We know we could have been like, "Oh no, like here we go again." But we came back together as a team, really battled, and, and then we pulled it out. It was great. Jack, how about you? I mean, I mean, yeah. Uh, Pat was talking before the game. Uh, we just got to finish the whole game, play hungry, and I guess we did today. 600 yards, 100 plays. I guess that's not you know the formula that you want to have to, to to win a football game. But you know you said earlier, defense, special teams, turnovers. That was going to be the, the difference. Yeah. It, it kind of was. It was. It kind of what I expected. I, first thing I said to Grant, I'm sure there's a thousand yards of offense, and yeah. just like we've had with these guys the last couple of years, um, they're explosive. Quarterback is very good, um, and we answered the call. Um, you know, Jack stood in there and threw some balls and. A couple didn't slip. I mean, we were behind their defense a few, a couple other times, but um, I knew it was going to be that kind of game. Uh, you just had to have something big happen, and we, you know, here all of a sudden we scored with our special teams, and we scored with our, our defense. So that's the difference in the game. Yeah. Uh, you know, was there anything said on the sidelines that you know a play had to be made when, when Pat had that strip, or is that is that just kind of every just, time they go on the field? Yeah, they, you, know, you, you watch the whole game. I mean, we're after yeah. the football. In fact, we give up a few yards because we're trying to strip it so much that we forget to tackle sometimes. Yeah. Um, but that's that's just part of who we are. Uh, we're trying to get after the football on every snap, and yeah, it just happened. Um, you know, 
Did their tempo at all kind of uh, affect you on defense at all, or is that did you know that, that was going to happen? I mean, obviously. Yeah, they, we knew that. I mean, it's, it's no different than St. Cloud ran. It's no different than Bemidji ran. You know, people are running up tempo all the time. It's yeah. kind of a phase in football right now. Um, that doesn't matter. You still got to make plays. I mean, they're they're just as tired as we are. Yeah. Um, so I thought you know, that's a lot of plays, and we rotate a lot of people, and, and we we survived it. The black punt was that that was something that you put in this week. Uh, a, a different block, you know. Yeah, so Coach Barton does a great job with our specials. He's so passionate about it, and and he found a weakness, and, and we tried it. Like you said, we tried to hit it a couple times, just didn't get to it. But we were buzzing the tower on the kid. He shanked one. He dropped the ball. I mean, we had some pressure on that punt team. And then we went after the last snap there, and I mean, we had three guys at the point of the ball took it right off his foot, and uh, Kyle s scooped it up and took it in, so it's kind yeah. of fun. And how big of a play was that? Because you know there was. Well, it was huge thing. because they had momentum going at that time, and we finally pinned them down, and and you know they're punting from all of a sudden they're inside the twenty or somewhere down there, and um, so just to have that momentum change, it, it you could feel the pressure kind of come off our guys. It excited our, our offense. We took the next series down and scored, so um, that was a huge momentum changer. Uh, were they, you know, gearing up to stop the run, or is that you guys just weren't executing blocks? Maybe no, like they played really runs? well against yeah. the run. They really did. Um, they, they, their front seven or six guys really. Their front six really played well. Their Mike linebacker is a tough kid, and uh, they were timing us up pretty good. So we did have some trouble with that. Um, I will look at the tape and see what the story was, but. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we finally got the ball outside a little bit, loosened it up a little bit, and of course, that's why you have big plays in the pass game. Sure, sure. Play action, so. And you had uh, Preston back, you know, that, that had to be real nice. That He was able to really eat some clock there in that, mm -hmm. in that fourth quarter. Yeah, he's a dynamic player. You know, not having him really last week and a half here, you know, hurts us. But uh, for him to get back in, he survived the night. He's, he's healthy now, and we want to keep him that way because he's a big part of this offense. And Jack, you know, I mean, I don't know what, what more you can say about him. You know, he had, you didn't, the, the short passes maybe weren't there, but you kept hitting them deep. Yeah, well, the short passes, you know, they're bringing two safeties down and sitting in the alley, so it's hard for us to run the short passing yeah. game. And, you know, they're going to bring that many people down and play three high. You know, we got to run verticals, and, and so we did. And that was part of our game plan. And, but Jack just sits in there, and he's so calm and cool for a freshman. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, he's awesome. And he distributes the ball well, too. Is that, is that, you yeah. guys have a lot of guys you can put in there? Or is that him, you know, being able to check down? Well, we really have six or? guys that we throw to, you know, I mean, the six guys that we rotate through there. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's just, it's the defense tells us where to throw the ball anyway. Yeah. So it's not like we're just trying to get it to one guy. But, you know, Josh goes deep. The next play you saw Allen May going deep. The next play you see. So it's just part of our rotation. Um, and then whatever the, how the defense moves is where we throw the football. Yeah, uh, you know, going forward, what does this win do for you guys? You know, you're able to kind of fight off a, a, a comeback attempt, and you know. Well, I think we we learned a lot about our team. We're still, you know, we're still on discipline. Um, you know, the penalties are ridiculous sometimes, and so we got to get away, get out of that, especially in our special teams penalties that we had tonight. Um, that's gonna that's got that's got changed. We got to get yeah. that fixed. Um, the better teams, the, the better teams keep coming. Um, you got to play mistake free, or at least you know reduce them as much as you can. So that's a big part of what we need to do. Uh, can you update me on uh, Larry Bayou's injury? Um, yeah, he's been, been kind of nursing a hammy a little bit, and okay. uh, so that's kind of what he's doing. So he tweaked a little bit. So we pulled him, and you know he's, he's it's a chronic thing. He plays three weeks, then he kind of goes down for a while. He comes back and plays, so he should be back. Who then? I, I didn't. I should Tevin Knight comes in. Okay. Uh, was that a worry at all? You know, with such a high. No, oh, Tevin started the first three games. Okay. So yeah, it's just we got a four-man corner rotation. Um, so and all all four of them played all the games so far.